just have a quick look at orthodox solutions. So does anybody want to um, shout out some orthodox solutions for cold and flu? Be a social recluse. <laughs> you never get the cold then. Okay. So be a recluse. Over the counter products. Okay. Paracetamol, flu jab. Missed out tummy flu as well. That's another one. And also, I, I remember younger um, when you go to the doctors, they say just drink plenty of fluids and, and get plenty of rest. And to me, it's, it's not enough. I mean, there's so much more that, that you can do if you look at things which are outside of that advice. I swear by Okay, in the in the same cafe on Friday, I, there was some leaflets there, and I thought I thought I, I picked I picked one up. And I thought, man, this. I wonder what they're going to say about about, about advice. And the main advice is is about make sure you get the flu jab. Okay, which is um quite interesting. Okay, obviously difference of opinion. Some some people get their flu jab every year and they've done it for many years um, and I do know that some people do still end up going down with the flu with it after they've had the, the flu jab um, but obviously it's a difference of opinion um, are, do people think that the, that the flu jab is safe? No. 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 Okay because a lot of people do think they're all perfectly safe, and it is one. Of, it, I think I think vaccinations is one of those biggest point um, points of contention. If you get into any discussions on social media, really, and people are very passionate one way or another. Um, and I know people have, have stated to me um, any sort of vaccine vaccine is perfectly safe. However, um, one point I want to make about, about vaccines is, I use the analogy of you, you, you sparring with someone in, say, karate. Um, if, if, if you're both the same level, that's okay, but what if it's like a, a white belt against a black belt? In other words, what if you have a, a very weak immune system and your your body is presented with the vaccine. It's you know it's not. I'm going to say that there are, there are risks there because vaccines don't actually they're not actually building up your immune system because you need things like nutrition to build that up. But it's there to train or or, or the idea at least in theory is that vaccines actually actually train your immune system in, as a, um, because of the adaptive immune system. Does that make sense? Okay, because they do say some people, um, they say it's not suitable for people that do have, have a, a lowered immune system, that they shouldn't take the vaccine. And I don't know if anybody has seen this, and this is from the, the government website. Um, so if anybody has any doubt that vaccines are actually completely safe, of course they'll, you know, I'm going to say there's people that have had vaccines, I, I had vaccines as a child, you know, there are people that at least seem to be okay with, with, with vaccines. Of course if you go back 20 or 30 or 40 years, then um, the amount of vaccines that you have is different to children these days you know but here it actually says on the government website so if you're severely disabled as a result of a vaccination against certain diseases you could get a one-off tax repayment of £120,000 you know what you get £120,000 and this is the criteria to see whether you're eligible 
there's, there's quite a few different types of vaccine there, including um, influenza virus up there, polio down there, tetanus, TB, swine flu, remember that. I don't hear that combined diseases. <coughs> I don't know the de 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 um, definition of a pandemic, but obviously it's affecting a lot of people over a, a wide area. So basically, a lot of people have it, but not Interesting, isn't it? And also, it talks about. Your mother was vaccinated against one's diseases in the list while she was pregnant. Because how often are we or are, are mothers targeted to take a vaccine if they're pregnant? You know, and also it talks about it talks about you've been um, you've been in close physical contact with someone who's had an oral vaccine against poliomyelitis. So this thing about close physical contact, because I don't know if you heard of the the the, the concept called um, viral shedding. Because after after being vaccinated, you can um, the the person can actually shed that virus and infect other people with it. So that's something to look up about viral shedding. So. Yeah, so there's m more information here, but you can all, you know, you can all read it yourself online. I shall move on from that. And somebody drew me attention to this as well. This is this is from the International Journal of Vaccines and Vaccination. So. New quality control investigations on vaccines, micro and nano contamination. So what's that all about? You know, I don't know if you can read that, but I'll, I'll read it. It says, vaccines are being under investigation for the possible side effects they can cause. In order to supply new information, an electron microscopy investigation method was applied to the study of vaccines, aimed at verifying the presence of solid contaminants by means of environmental scanning electron microscope equipped with an x-ray micro. The results of this new investigation, investigation show the presence of micro and nanocyte particle, particulate matter composed of inorganic elements in vaccines, samples which is not declared among, among the components and whose Unduly presence is for the time being inexplicable. So that's so that's quite interesting. You know, this is this is not you know this is this is from a you know from a scientific journal. You know, so what's that all about? 